mateys, today our boat has been taken over by pirates. Let me introduce you to the crew. Say hello to Long John Silver, Stormy Sue, and the Kraken. They may not look too mean and scary, but they sure do run a tight ship when they're looking for the treasure. We knew we were headed the right way when we started seeing flowers of gold under the boat. The crew jumped in to take a look and I stood on a watch, but unfortunately they didn't come back with what I was hoping for. Story has it, another pirate calls this island home, so we're going to have to keep our eye out. Before we start hunting for the buried treasure, we're on a mission to go find the swimming treasure. We're going fishing! Long John Silver had the first bite of the day. He wasn't big enough for dinner, so we let him swim off for another day. Dad had a second bite, but another one too small. How are we going to eat? Peggy, Perry, and Pelly look pretty hungry too. Okay, we are getting bigger but still not the fish I was hoping for. Whoa, baby, we hit the jackpot. Who knew a fish could jump like that? It's like he's an acrobat or something. We're gonna need an instant replay on that one. And just like that, it was gone. And so was my energy. Now that I'm all refreshed, it's time to go for some hiking. But first we have to load up the clown car. These are some of the friendliest looking pirates I've ever seen. find the buried treasure. If only I could sniff for gold. The only treasure I see is adrenaline. And you know what? Sometimes pirates need pampering too. That was an awfully long hunt with nothing to bring back except some burnt calories. And you could say it was one heck of a arg venture. And at the end of the day, you want to know what I learned? Pirates will be pirates. No sharing around here, apparently. We are returning no richer in money, but much, much more memories. <laughs> <laughs>